In this video, let's see the third differentiation of inverse trigonometric function. The function that we are going to deal with is tan inverse x and you have to memorize the formula that differentiation of tan inverse x with respect to x is 1 upon 1 plus x square, right? I give the heading proof to start with the proof of this formula inverse trigonometric function tan inverse x, its differentiation. Just as we did in the previous two videos, we are going to do this video also. So I give the heading as proof and we start with the proof of this. Now it is d by dx of tan inverse x. So what function are we going to deal with? The tan inverse x function. So like previous videos, let's name this tan inverse x as substituting it as y. It is better to deal with y because ultimately we have the habit of dy by dx, right? So y is tan inverse x and equation 1 say then. Taking tan both sides, this becomes tan y, this becomes tan tan inverse x and tan and tan inverse basically nullify each other. So in short, this becomes x is equal to tan y, right? Some students do it like this, that this goes here. But internally what process is going on? Internally you take tan here also, you take tan here also. This becomes tan y, this becomes tan tan inverse x and tan and tan inverse nullify each other. So it is like this. So keep it in a box, name it equation number 2. Now what you have to do is you have to differentiate this second equation which is obtained with respect to x. So differentiating, differentiating equation 2 with respect to x. So it is what? It is x with respect to x giving me 1. Tan y is given me secant square y because you know secant square y is the differentiation of tan y. And because you are not only dealing with tan but also with x. So what is, but also with y, I'm sorry. So what is the differentiation of y? It is dy by dx. y with respect to x differentiated gives me dy by dx. Now dy by dx will stay here. And 1 upon secant square y comes here. So it is 1 upon secant square y. And that is put in a box. Now secant square y, is there any relation of secant square with tan square? Do we have a formula? Yes, we have. And the formula is secant square y minus tan square y is equal to 1. Now if secant square is placed here, what is the uh, actually formula of secant square with respect to tan. So secant square y can be substituted as 1 plus tan square y. And 1 plus tan square y when put here, what changes are there in the solution? Now let's see. It becomes 1 upon 1 plus tan square y is equal to dy by dx. Now tan square y means first let's find out what was tan y, tan y from 2 was x. So I write from 2, from 2 I have 1 upon 1 plus x square is equal to dy by dx and dy by dx, what is y? y is tan inverse x. So it is basically d by dx of tan inverse x and this substitution is done from 1. So you write here from 1 also, right? So the formula that you have obtained for the differentiation of tan inverse x with respect to x is what? It is 1 upon 1 plus x squared and this is the formula of differentiation of tan inverse x with respect to x.